Ladies and gentlemen, back to the channel. Today we've got episode number 114 of the Los Angeles Angels franchise mode here on MLB 21 The Show. And we are back for game number six of the 2026 World Series. And the Angels have extended this series back to Los Angeles. They will get a game six. And unfortunately, though, they got to take on Justice Sheffield. And in game one of the World Series, that game did not turn out very well for the Angels. They did have Jose Barrios on the mound for game one. And they will get him on the mound for game six. So it is a pitching rematch. Hopefully our ace, our Cy Young and Barrios, can pick up the win against the Pirates ace of course in Justice Sheffield game one was one nothing maybe we can put up a little bit more than zero runs let's just hope and folks if you have not yet make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for some more MLB 21 the show here on the channel there he is the reigning defending AL Cy Young and Jose Barrios and for the Pittsburgh Pirates we've talked about him so many times the lefty it is Justice Sheffield the former Seattle Mariner in his first season with the Pittsburgh Pirates has dominated on the hill there is Jose Barrios so far in this postseason four starts record of one and two but an ERA of 2.67 he has been killing it hopefully he can lead the Angels toward victory here tonight and that's a good start striking out David Ruiz on the slurve one down in the inning for Ji-Hwan Bay Bay is gonna hit one into center field and he has been so good Good about getting balls into play. Bay is on with a one out single, bringing up Jason Swift in the 3 2. Swing and a miss on the changeup. Two gone in the inning for Luis Robert. And after Jihuan Bay steal, Robert's going to ground one on to the former MVP and Corey Seeger. We now go to the bottom of the first. There is Justice Sheffield. I mean, you thought Jose Barrios' postseason was great. Look at Justice Sheffield 3 0, 1.33 ERA in start number five. Here we go. Brandon Marsh going to hit one on the ground right to short. Easy first out for Pittsburgh. And here is your Angels lineup for tonight. It is Marsha Cunha, Trout, Seager, Bell, Jackson, Rushman, Poulsen, Mendoza. Reason for no Shohei Otani's A. There's a lefty on the hill in Justice Sheffield as Acuna is going to hit one up the middle. That ball is going to be stopped at second, but Acuna is on with a one out single. And now he's going to be running on the 1 1. Trout's going to swing and miss, but Acuna will swipe second base. Again, the two reasons why Otani's not in the lineup one, Sheffield's a lefty, and Otani really can't hit lefties all that well. And the second reason being, if we do go to a game seven, I want Otani to pitch. It's that simple. I want Shohei to be the Game 7 starter. Nothing against Trevor Bauer, but at this point, I'd rather have Otani than Bauer for that Game 7. So, it's a move over fly ball for Mike Trout, getting Acuna to third, and now Corey C rips one into right center field. That ball gets through, and just like that, the Angels have scored as many runs as they did in Game 1 against Justice Sheffield. So, it's a one nothing lead for the Anaheim Angels. Josh Bell's going to strike out on the slider, but... In a game like this with Barrios versus Sheffield, maybe one run could do it. I'm just saying. Key Brian Hayes is going to strike out right there. Kevin Newman comes up on the 1 2. Swing and a miss on the slur foul tip into the mitt of Adley Rushman. Two down for Blake Sobot. And he's going to strike out as well. Barrios strikes out the side. We go to the bottom of the second. Jeremiah Jackson's batting sixth in our lineup, the highest he's ever gotten. He's going to fly out, though, into center field. I mean, hey, Jackson's earned it. Batting about 280 so far in this postseason. Adley Rushman on the 3 2 going to elevate the slider into left field, but it will be caught by David Ruiz. Two down in the inning for Randall Poulsen. He's going to strike out on that pitch in. We now go to the top of the third. Justin Toner up first now for the Pirates. He's going to hit one on that one-two count into left field. There is Mike Trout. One gone in the inning for Ronaldo Hernandez, the former Boston Red Sox, on the 3-2. Absolutely demolishes a ball deep left field. They will get down off the wall. Hernandez looking for two. The throw into second. Not in time. Hernandez in with a one-out double. David Ruiz now in the 1-1. Hits one off the middle of the bat into center field. There is Ronald Acuna. Will Hernandez try to test the arm of Acuna? He will not. So Hernandez stays at second for Jihuan Bay on the 1-1 count. Bay hits one up the middle, and he has been the best hitter by far for the Pirates. Jihuan Bay into center field. Acuna with the throw of the plate. It is not on time and it's a 1-1 game and after a steal of second by Jihuan Bay, Swift is going to strike out on that pitch in so we go to the bottom of the third tied at one run apiece Drew Mendoza who's batting about 100 in this playoffs going to ground out right to short one gone in the inning for Brandon Marsh he's going to bounce one on the ground at first base nice flip right there by Swift over to Sheffield two gone in the inning for Ron Acuna Jr. Acuna hits one on the ground to third but at the hot corner there is key Brian Hayes we go to the top of the fourth, tied at one run. Luis Robert up first, swing and a miss on the changeup by Jose Barrios. Easy first out the inning for him. Key Brian Hayes now in the 3-1. Hits one high in the air. Oh my goodness. Deep center field. Acuna going to try to rob it up the wall. Oh my goodness. Ronald Acuna Jr. robs Key Brian Hayes of a home run. 
Who would have thought this game remains tied at one? Acuna with a tremendous play at the wall. And we go to the bottom of the fourth, tied at one run. Trout's going to pop one out to Swift to start off the inning. So one gone for Corey Seager. He's one for one in this game. Make it two for two. Two line drive shots by Corey Seager. Puts him on first base with one out for Josh Bell. On the 1-2 count, the book club leader hits one into right field. It will be caught, though, by Blake Sobal. Two down for Jeremiah Jackson on the 2-2. Jackson up the middle. That one gets down. That's why he bats six for this team. Runners on first and second. Two outs for Adley Rushman. Could have had ball two instead. Pops it out to the second baseman. That rally by the Angels is killed. And we now go to the top of the fifth. And that will be a leadoff single down the left field line. The Pirates have got another hit in this game. And a runner on first now for Justin Toner. On the 2-2 count, he puts one on the ground. Jackson trying to make the flip over to Corey Seager. It's a slow one. And they will beat it out at first base. So a runner on first here with one out for Ronaldo Hernandez. On the 1-2 count, he lines one up the middle. Almost hitting off of Jose Barrios. And now the Pirates have got runners on first and second with one out for the top of the order. It is David Ruiz in the 2 1. He hits one on the ground. Mendoza over to Jackson. Jackson to Bell. They turn the double play. We go to the bottom of the fifth, tied at one. Randall Poulsen, first off on the 2 2, swinging butt to Hernandez, but Ronaldo's going to throw him out at first for the first out of the inning. The nine hitter in Drew Mendoza up now on the 1 1, hitting one on the ground. That's why he bats ninth on this team. Grounding one to Jason Swift, two gone in the inning for Brandon Marsh in the 1-1 one, one count. Marsh going to hit a sinker into left field where that one will be caught by David Ruiz. We go to the sixth inning, tied at one run. Ji-Hwan Pei now up on the 1-1. One, one. He's two for two in this game. It's going to be a tough play for Corey Seager. He guns him out at first. One gun in the inning for Jason Swift in the 2-2, two, two, hitting one on the ground again to the former MVP in Seager. Two up, two down in the top of the sixth for Barrios. Luis Robert on the 1-2, pops one up into foul territory. There is Josh Bell, and we go to the bottom of the sixth. Can we put some runs on the board? Acuna up first in the 3-1, hits one on the ground to Key Brian Hayes. First out of the inning right there. Mike Trout now up on the 1-1. One, one. Hits a sinker in the air. Deep right field. Going back on it. And right is Blake Sobal. He's got it. Two down in the inning for Corey Seager. The lefty-lefty matchup on the 1-2. And Sheffield finally gets Seager to swing and miss on the slider away. So we go to the top of the seventh. Keep Brian Hayes up first in the 2-2. Hits one on the ground at Josh Bell. Bell over to Barrios. Again, Jose Barrios still pitching with 98 pitches into the seventh inning. He got the first out. He might get number two right here. Newman on the ground at Drew Mendoza. Good play by Mendoza. Two down in the inning for Blake Sobol. And on the 1-1, he will line one into center field. Barrios' day is not done just yet. And maybe it is. Sobal going to second. Don't know what he's doing. We will take the out. And if that is it for Jose Barrios on the season, I mean, that man did everything he could possibly do. Seven tremendous innings out of Jose Barrios. 110 pitches. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Sheffield's done. It's Thad Ward pitching now for the Pirates. And Josh Bell takes advantage. Hitting one up the middle. It's a leadoff single for Anaheim. Jeremiah Jackson now in the 2-2 is somewhat going to get jammed on the changeup and on the hands. That one will be caught in center field by Luis Robert. One gone in the inning for Adley Rushman on the 3-2. Rushman hits the fastball. High in the air right center. And that ball is going to die out. Luis Robert's got it. Two gone in the inning for Randall Poulsen on the 3-1. The DH is going to get popped out. And we will go to the eighth inning. Still tied. Barrios and Sheffield both get no decisions. And here comes Tanner Rainey. Nine and one-thirds innings pitched so far in the postseason. 17 strikeouts, eight games. Tremendous ear of nothing. Give him another strikeout right there. Tanner Rainey, all-time clutch postseason performer. Another one. Striking out Hernandez. Can he get three in a row? Yes, he can. Rainey strikes out the side to give him 20 in the postseason. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Drew Mendoza going to pop out the fastball in the center field for the first out. In the bottom of the eighth. Now to the top of the order we go. It will be Brandon Marsh on the one, two, Marsh! Deep right field, that ball's up and it's out of here. No doubt about it for Brandon Marsh. The go-ahead home run in the bottom of the eighth gives the Angels a 2-1 lead. And that was a no-doubter. Brandon Marsh gets a high fastball. He hits it deep in the air and a right. And the Angels go up by one. They are three outs away from sending this to a winner go home game seven. Brandon Marsh with the most clutch at bat in his career. And here comes Acuna on the 2-2. Two -two. 
don't know what we're swinging at right there, but it's okay. Two gone in the inning for Mike Trout, and on the 1-1, one, one, Trout hits one on the ground to Jihuan Bay at short. That will do it for the bottom of the eighth, but now we get a chance to close it out in the top of the ninth. Liam Hendricks gets another shot. He's going for save number six, and this will be his eighth game in the postseason so far. 15 strikeouts. Let's hope he can get a couple more. Jihuan Bay first in the 1-2. Hits one in the infield. Corey Seager going to take his time, and Jihuan Bay's on with the leadoff single. Runner on first, no outs, Jason Swift, swag and a miss on the high heat by Hendricks. One gone in the inning for Luis Robert, and on the one, two, Robert on a hit and run. Hits one into right field, Jihuan Bay got to go back to first, and the Angels are now away. It's keep Ryan Hayes in the 3-1, Hayes going to pop up the fastball. Foul territory, third base, Drew Mendoza at the wall, he makes the catch. And the Angels have extended this series to seven. The job is not done. We have one more game tomorrow night. Win or go home game seven. The Angels took care of business in game five. Both elimination games, game five and game six. And here we go. We go to game seven. We thought it might only take one run here tonight to win this pitcher's duel between Sheffield and Barrios. It took two, but the Angels in the bottom of the eighth got the job done thanks to Brandon Marsh's no doubt bomb in the right center field. And now we look forward to game number seven tomorrow night. Folks, you are not going to want to miss it. Who will be the 2026 world champions? We will find out tomorrow night. So, folks, thank you all for watching episode number 114 of the Los Angeles Angels franchise mode here on MLB 21. The show, if you have not yet, though, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Download for more. And mama. Forever.